of Denmark up against the former champion and two-time beaten finalist. In fact, he was a beaten finalist last year, Xiu Qi from China. Well, with Xiu Qi being the number two seed, this is obviously the bottom quarter of the draw. Just to bring you right up to date to the world champion, uh, Wita San, he's come through against Lu Guangzhou and uh, Wodoyo uh, against the Rajawat. Uh, they're in the third game right now, but Wododo way in front. Let's hear it for Denmark's Rasmus Genka and China's Shi Yu Chi. So these two men have met each other seven times previously. And Shi Yu Chi has a very commanding lead, having won six of them. He's also won the last five. But when you delve a little deeper into the results, the one time that Rasmus Genka officially beat his opponent was when his opponent, Shi Yu Chi, retired injured. So if you're a Danish fan, that is a little ominous. Obviously, a player that Rasmus Gimka finds very difficult to play against. Mind you, an awful lot of players find Shi Yu Chi very difficult to play against because he is the current world number two. And the way things are looking at the moment, he could well be the number one seed at the Olympic Games. But this is the 27-year-old Erasmus Gemka, uh, born in uh, Verbu J, and J stands for Jutland because there's two Verbus in Denmark. Tall man, 186, I have him down as, uh, which is about six foot one. His world ranking has dropped to 28. He has been as high as 10, as you can see, and this is his fifth appearance at the All England Championships. He was actually a quarter finalist four years ago, losing out to teammate Anna's Antonsen. Xiu Chi turned 28 last month and released a song, a, a single, on his birthday. You Raise Me Up, a cover version of the Westlife song, and I highly recommend that everybody looks it up on social media. He's got a beautiful voice and sung quite beautifully. He actually gave me a little rendition in the lift at the hotel the other evening, didn't he, Steen? So, he's from Jiangsu province, and he's enjoying his 61st week across his fourth different spell at number two on the world ranking. One of five players from China to contest three or more All England men's singles finals, the others being Lin Dan, who contested an incredible 10. Chen Hong, Zhao Jinhua, and Chen Long being the others. Winner of the title in 2018, Shi Uchi. As we look at our umpire for this one, Gavin Smith from England and Latif Johari of Indonesia is the service judge. Were you there when he was singing, Steen? I was. We met. Um Shiuchi in the uh, lifts carrying a big box of uh, bottled water. Yeah. And uh, you persuaded him to uh, just give a little taste of uh, his singing. It sounded actually um, very good. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Xi Yu Qi, China. And on my left, Rasmus Genka, Denmark. Rasmus Genka to serve the ball. Play. So the Dane, Rasmus Genka, far side of the court against 
the number two seed, Chi Chi of China. Well, Shi Chi, fresh from victory at the French Open in Paris, where he beat the reigning world champion, Kun Lu Dwidesan, in the final. So he's had an incredible start to this year, Shi Chi. He's played three tournaments, he's been in three finals, winning two titles, because not only the French Open, he's won the Indian Open as well, and lost in the final of the Malaysian Suta 1000 event to Anas Antonsen. Add to that so that this he's been in four finals in his last four tournaments played because he reached the final of the World Tour finals at the end of last year and five finals in his last six tournaments because he was beaten in the final of the Kumamoto Masters in Japan at the end of last year. I think we can safely say, Steen, he's the man that's in best form in world badminton at the moment in men's singles. Yeah, he is, and, and there's others than us that have um, noticed that he's just over 3,000 points after Victor Axelsen on the uh, BWF World Rankings. Now, it's not like he can overtake Axelsen in, in this tournament here because she has got an awful lot of points to defend here from, uh, from last year where he finished runner-up. But it's a testament that um, he's playing well. He's he's a man to uh, to beat at the moment. Over to all. Had a very serious ankle injury which required surgery. Happened at the Indonesian Open. That was a, a few years ago. And that was in 2019. Service I don't think he's even three, wearing two. strapping on those ankles now. Surgery must have worked well. Why do you think Gimka struggles so much against Shiyuchi? Yeah, he feels that his game is is really badly suited to play against Chi because she's got a good defense, so he can weather the storm of Gimke's um, attack, and uh, and he can also attack. He can hurt Gimke with his uh, steep attack and his disguised uh, sliced uh, um, yeah, not drop shots, but something in between a drop shot and a smash. Yeah, plays well at the net. Um, doesn't make a lot of errors when he's in good shape. Good deception there. So Gemke has been open about it in, in, um, in Danish media that uh, yeah, he's not really looking behind, uh, beyond this match here because um, he feels it's a very, very difficult opponent. Yeah. The, um, the thing that uh, sort of could give him some um, hope is that um, she, even though he won very impressive and convincingly in, uh, in Paris, He's still had uh, five days of competition. He's had to um, travel. Uh, he didn't travel on the late flight Sunday as we did, so I suspect he's traveled Monday and yeah. then had one day here, which he spent fetching water and singing for us. And, um, <laughs> and so it, it's now, it's, it's, it's the start of this uh, first game here where yeah, if, if Gimmy could secure that relatively easy without spending too much energy, then there might be a chance and and she might um, sort of have to dig deep to um, to find something to um, to trouble Gimke today. But but um, there's a lot of uh, buts and ifs in it. He started out well, though, in a good pace, Gemke. Of course, he had a week off last week, didn't he, Gemke? Because he withdrew from the French Open, yeah. having reached the final of the German Open the previous week, where he lost in the final to Christo Popov. And that's also something that sort of um, uh, runs for Gemke, that, that he's, he's not in bad shape, he's in good shape. And... Um, Touch and feeling doesn't go away because you take a week off. No. To um, get your body back in um, in shape, oh. and we can see that um, she hasn't started. Um, 
in quick fashion here. He chose end at the um, coin toss, and um, I could easily see Gimke take this first game and, um, and uh, then see a comeback from uh, Shiyuchi in the second. Because I mean, there's a long, long way to go at the moment. And, and he's, has he won the All England, Shiyuchi? Yeah, he yes, has. Yes, he did in 2018, which was only his second That's appearance at the All England. Yeah. And, and in the final last year. So, so he's not looking to go to a quarterfinal or anything. He's looking to be there on Sunday and be competitive. And there's a long way to um, there's a long way to go. So you have to sort of break it up in, in small portions. Yeah. He actually reached the final first of all, Steen, on his very first appearance at the All England in 2017. Lost to Lee mm -hmm. Chong Wei. Mm -hmm. Server six eight. Oh, the oh. of the back line. Over. Nine, six. For Kimke right now, where I think he plays more deliberately and a little bit higher pace than um, Shiuchi, it's important to build a, a bit of a cushion. I would say four or five points, because otherwise I think oh. Oh, taken. Shiuchi will... Um, Seven. Suddenly, uh, become very, very interested in this game if he's within striking distance. When we get closer to the uh, end. Oh, good defense off the body. Wow, that's sufficiently put away, isn't it, from Shi Yu Chi? Eight, nine. In all my theory complex could go down the drain if uh, she goes to the interval 11 9 up, then um, Gemke will. Uh, Realise that he is a very, very difficult man to play. Also today. Wow, that's a fabulous smash from Gemka. Well, it is Gemka who has the advantage at the mid-game interval. A three-point advantage against last year's beaten finalist, Shi Chi. Kenneth Jonasson, the Danish head coach, doing the coaching in the interval there. A catch Opening stages of that interval. Towards the uh, very end here, he said, um, it's not nice for Shiuchi to stand with it here in front of him, so that means uh, slicing uh, some of the attacking shots down, or the drop shots down in front of Shiuchi. 
Yeah, they felt that uh, he hasn't been lifting too well so far. Oh, magnificent. When you're leaping backwards to have the racket head control to thread that down the line is a wonderful skill to possess. Look at that. And by the time he's hit the shuttle, his body movement is going yeah. forward in court. Yeah. It's all one smooth, lovely movement. I feel she has at least one gear, maybe two. Um, extra here in terms of um, speed of movement. Yeah, good body smash. I think that's just about the first he's used this match, yeah, isn't it, yeah, Steen? Yeah. I think there's been a couple from Gemka, but first one, I think, from Shiuchi. Look I think that. I think Shun Jun has said something uh, to him, something like, hey, you might as well gear up here because uh, it's a little bit tough, but it's also tough to have to go a full three-game match, and I think you have a good chance of, um, of winning in straight games if you uh, are able to raise the pace a little bit. Good retrieval by Gemkin. Very good. Well, we overcommitted looking uh, for the drop shot, and then a woeful attempt at an edge shot from Xiu Qi. Slight slip from Xiu Qi as he lunged to his forehand there. I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting, Steve, because I was specifically looking at the movement of the two players on court in that rally. And despite that little slip from Xiu Qi, he seemed to be moving so smoothly, whereas it seems to be more of an effort to move when you watch Gemka moving around the court. Yeah. There's also a difference in their thigh sizes and calf <laughs> sizes, I can tell you. Press the Gemka challenge called out. First challenge of this first round match. To right sideways drift, we saw it yesterday. What's he saying? There's so much dust on the yeah. underside of his shoe. Yeah, they, they feel the players feel that these um, um, new mats are um, because they're, they're brand new, so they're a bit rough, but there's also um, some dust on the court, and I think maybe it's, it's um, sort of the a thin layer of um, the the, the um, 
Yeah, here we have a picture of it. Yeah, I can so see that now. As the courts get worn, then... Um, um, the surface becomes a little smoother. Yeah. Whoa, that's a good take from the front of the court. Service over. 12, 14. Yeah, if, there's, if the court surface is a little rough, then the the dirt gets or the dust gets caught in between the the rough. Yes, and when when you uh, sort of or whatever they are, and, and when it, when the roughness goes off, it goes into dust and and um, sits on the uh, foot soles and the yeah. shoes. On the net, give him cut. 16, 12. And now he's about to build that um, cushion. Oh, that was a nice idea. a little bit um, uneasy about lifting uh, Shiuchi. I think he was afraid of putting it long and it ended up very, very short. Oh, that's careless. One of the issues for the Chinese team, if they only flew from uh, Paris to Birmingham on Monday, was uh, practice sessions on these match courts. Yeah, that probably hasn't happened. No, because we wouldn't have been able to practice yesterday because we had play all day. Jonas advising yeah. Kimke that um, Xiu Qi is uh, stepping forward all the time at the moment. Well, that he's expecting him to do it in the upcoming rallies. So a little hold and flick would be good from the Danes' perspective. There was another slip on the forehand net of Xu Chi. And I think that just disturbed his concentration momentarily. Thank 
19-15. Two points away from the opening game. Erasmus Gimka. Advice from the last one. Starts in front of her, up to the body. He had no chance of doing that. I don't think Chiu Chi is going to be lifting a lot from now on. He's got to earn his own luck, uh, Rasmus Gimke. There from Shiuchi, that was probably a little bit too close to the line from what he's expected, but that was what needed to play the winner. Shuttle was fine and Gemka should play. Oh, my goodness. That four point cushion has been whittled down to just a one point advantage for Gemka. Yeah, he's not happy with himself there, she or she, understandably. Two game point opportunities for the Dane. That's long of the back line and the opening game to Rasmus Gimka of Denmark against the number two seed Shi Uchi of China. Okay, in 22 minutes. I think it's a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a Så viser du ham, der er plads, men du er klar til at lukke. Ja, præcis. Ender du rykke op, når du lige bringer den til vejen. Ja, det er sjældent. 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 Ja, det er from the coaches has passed and Steve what was Kenneth Jonasson saying to this man Gemka yeah they were specific on the front court um, what to do if there's this um, uh, battle for the attack where nobody really wants to lift and nobody wants to play close uh, net so he should just play it in and, um, and be ready to uh, play it into the body and, and be ready to move backwards and then they were trying to set a trap in terms of the um, close net, where if Gimbe plays close net, he should take um, a small step back and show Shiuchi that there's room 
to play back at the net, but he ready to close it down. So very specific things, and then uh, they were very aware of the sideways drift. Um, that there's probably going to be a lot of play to that uh, backhand corner here. I do feel though that we've seen a lot of um, lifts going long from the uh, far side of the court to this near uh, back line though, so you can definitely lift long. But I suspect we're going to see a, a much better moving uh, Fuji. The question mark is whether the shot quality is um, is there, and um, as you mentioned, whether the um, lack of um, practice in the arena is going to uh, play a, a, a role, perhaps a decisive role in this match. Oh, yeah, that's a safe shot. Well, interestingly, Sun Jun, the Chinese coach who also won this title back in 1998, was urging his player to play to the back of the court. Now he's able to perhaps hit freely, more freely, going towards the back. But he missed one already yeah. in the second game, and that's uh, that can easily play on the on the minds of the players. Oh, an indecision at the back of the court there from Xi Yuqi, and uh, it could be uh, right to be uh, a little bit uh, hesitant, but it could also just be imagination. But it doesn't help the fact that. They probably haven't had time to practice in here. That, no, that exactly. helps the uh, the mind games that you should be able to control. Oh, that hurts. Oh. Oi. Beautiful, absolutely wonderfully. Constructed rally there from Xi Yuqi. Look how confident this last shot looks. Just guides it across court. That's a beauty. talked about it last week how confident he looked in his shot making uh, Xi Yuqi. he hasn't had that look yet here in the arena not really uh, um, sort of um, acclimatized to this is a bigger arena even though there's some similarities this is this is bigger than the Olympic arena in, uh, in Paris the timing is slightly different Oh, that's going wide. This is a good chance for, for Gimke, the way I see it. Because, in part, Xi Yuqi hasn't recovered from his exploits yes. last week. And he's gotten the start he must have hoped for. Oh, that's, that's not good. Service over. Five yeah. from uh, she. I think he was right to play it, don't yeah. you? Yeah, I think oh, so. Oh, yes, that was clear. Gendo clearly landed. But at, at the moment here, Gimke doesn't need to let those drop. He, he, he should let the ones drop that he's absolutely sure of and then play on because he's got an uh, advantage in the rallies so far. Over. 
Well, we've already lost in the men's singles last year's champion. He played yesterday, she, uh, Li Shi Feng. Lost out to Tom Junior Popoff. Be quite extraordinary if we lost uh, both the men's singles finalists from a year ago in the first round of this year's All England Championships. Here we go. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Seven five. <laughs> He certainly hasn't found his range with the next shot, no, Shi Chi. No, he hasn't. I feel he's standing a little bit too far back at the moment, Shi. Because um, it's not like Genki's going to fire three, four clears in a row. That's not going to happen. Well, he's standing too far back when, when Genki is playing from the backcourt. Deliver the shuttle there to Shiyuchi. Went out to dust off his uh, shoes. Mister. I sense this might be a bit of a turning point. Yeah. I agree. Looks a little bit tensed, whether it's the uh, prospects of uh, being in a good position or it's physically, uh, that was two bad mistakes. Yeah. And two relatively cheap points for Xi Yuqi. Which is exactly what you can't afford when you sort of try to shock your opponent and get your first win. Yeah. For Shiyuchi is uh, Lasmus Kimke. Four straight points to go into the lead. Smash. 
Oh, he's missed that one, so. It's a bit of hit and miss at the moment, yeah, isn't it? Is. It's, it's, uh, uh, it's a shootout. But it's only Gimkit firing. Oh. And then go his frustration there. from Xiu Chi and he goes to the mid-game interval with the one-point advantage. One point in it, Chi Chi indicates to his opponent that he's taken a new shuttle. And Sun Jun, his coach, asking him to crowd the net and make a difference at the front of the court. What about Jonasson? Oh, that's just wide. Oh, it's called good. Oh, it's unsighted. So, Gimka will not lose a challenge because it is the umpire who's asked for the instant review to adjudicate for us. Oh, maybe Hawkeye can't adjudicate either. Maybe it was that close. And then it's a lit. If then they can't make a decision. Yeah, replayed the points. If the line judge had made a call and Hawkeye can't determine, yeah, that's landed on the line. Service over. Then the original call Eleven. stands, but Four. no call was made. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. 12 um, 10. Umpire yeah. correcting himself. <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't really hear what um, what Kenny Jonasson was saying, but I noticed the tone from uh, from Kimke when uh, he was about to go in on court, and um, yeah, over, I didn't 11, get the impression 12. that that he felt he was on uh, on road to his first victory over uh, Shiuchi. But. Um, it's not the tone when talking, it's the uh, quality when playing. said in the coaching break there I thought there was a couple of opportunities for Xiu Chi to really crowd the net yeah. and he still didn't do it and he's certainly playing back to the net and we, uh, I think it's fair to say and up until now, Gemke has sort of uh, gotten his will at the net. It's not like he's lost it in any way. He's got, he's got the lifts. Oh, it's a big 
big gap in that uh, backhand defense there. He's not even close. That's the second time he's not even close to it. Um, yeah. Game because the first time he almost didn't move. Uh, look at this though. Poetry in motion. Look at that. Leap in the air. But he hasn't found the lines. Chiuchi, he's playing too short. To the uh, backcourt of Genka, that's what the Danes should try and exploit. Yeah. Well, your point that it's a great opportunity for Genka. Never a true word has been spoken. I had some good ones yesterday as well, if you listen carefully. <laughs> <laughs> good shot, good shot. Excellent retrieval by Shuchi. Yeah, See, back he, level. And I think Shuchi is uncertain of that corner there, and that's why we see uh, a number of short lifts as well. That should be the uh, safe corner, so to speak. Hitting against both the lengthways and the sideways drift. Yes. Yeah. So 14 all. Oh, that's clever. Lovely disguise. Service over 15 14. doesn't know where the lines are completely. She is playing some down there. He should have left. I think he's done that as well on the backcourt. It's a typical first round match. Yeah. sense that that was a fairly crucial rally. And he could have played it. He's watching, watching. Yeah. Hoping. And hoping and hoping. Oh! That time, it was long. Challenge oh, he went in that challenge, I don't think. Mind you, I've been so yes. off for with these challenges. No, uh, I certainly won't win this one. In which case, he'll have no challenges left. Because he's already lost one challenge in this second game. Challenge unsuccessful. A sign of desperation, perhaps, see? Um, a sign that he, he's not certain that that, that sort of... Um, fuels the uncertainty in terms of drift and where are the lines and so on. This is where he should use all his experience, Chiuchi. That's a great shot. So I would uh, assume that he's trying to keep the net a lot, play reasonably flat if not able to play downwards so he doesn't give away uh, a lot of angle to uh, Gemke.
super placement. Well, I think that the umpire has been fairly lenient with Gemka. He's did a huge. He was by the shuttle there. He did a huge circuit of the court before going to pick up the shuttle and then going and changing it. 17 all. Who's got the nerve? for that is Gemka. That was borderline. Uh, <laughs> that's how St. John feels about that. of urgency yeah. from Shiuchi in that rally. Look at that. Great commitment from Gemka. If he was in Seawald, he would have gotten a hearing now <laughs> as a reward. looking shot to tantalizing points Gemka away from a first ever real victory over Xiu Chi oh, uh, it's always easy to say it afterwards the Monday morning coaches uh, that that should have been aimed at the body. It would have been much easier to play along. You might have thought to get yourself out of balance here at this point of the uh, match. That's a gift. Absolute gift. And now it's a game point opportunity for Xiu Qi to level this first round match at one game apiece. Challenges he can't challenge, and the umpire can only overrule if they see that a clear mistake has been made. And I see that as wide of that line, but it can't be judged as a clear error by the line judge. So, 20 all it is, and extra points required until there's a clear two point winning margin. He's got there, Shiuchi. That forehand comes so quickly. Second opportunity for the number two seed to take the second game. Twenty 
being mopped of the perspiration after the dive. Both players taking the opportunity to take on board some liquid. <laughs> Towel down. Absolutely crucial. the first one he's left at the <laughs> yeah. back line in the second game, Shiuchi. Will it be third time lucky? Third game point opportunity for Shiuchi. Chi takes the second game and forces a third and deciding game. What a thrilling match. 52 minutes into the match and it's one game all. So here, the world number ones, fresh from victory at the French Open, Aranki Reddy and Shetty. They're going to be our last match of the day. Busy on the warm-up courts. Three finals in three tournaments that they've played so far this year. So a fascinating third and deciding game coming up. to catch anything that Kenny Jonasson was saying? Uh, just bits and pieces, um, feeling that the, the variation in the attack is super important from the uh, far side of the court here, and uh, it's asking Genki what he felt went well in there after a sort of stating that it's Margins that's deciding the second game. And um, he, felt, he felt that he's been playing a, a good net game, but it's um, difficult to... Um, to lift with quality, the shuttles are spinning uh, quite a bit. Well recovered in that right. Yeah. And of course, the psychology as well isn't there, Steen, to take into account here because Rasmus Gimka was so close was. to taking his first ever proper victory over Shiyuchi, actually beating him without his opponent retiring injured. I think. Um, the opening here is um, very, very important for Gimke. I don't think he can afford to get uh, two, three points behind them. I think Huchi will regain confidence. Yeah, I agree with that analysis. 
Good rally. Oh, that's a super well shot. And what he does here is he, he, he plays shots that are not necessarily winners, but then he's, he plays shots that he knows he can continue the rally on. Where we saw Gemke when he first went cross on that smash that uh, Shiuchi defended, it became an outright winner. So you've got to have patience, even though it's, it's hard here. Uh, you, you want to score points, but, but sometimes it's just as important that the opponent doesn't get the easy points off you. Yeah. Ooh, that's, that's an easy one. Five. the problem from this near side of the court, hitting with the drift. It's been quite a while since Gemka's last, and only actually, World Tour title six years ago, when he won the Spain Masters, a 300 event in 2018. I heard that recently on Danish TV, so I think I can tell you who he beat at that time. Go on, then. Ali Hintanon from Thailand. It's Japan, you. Ali Hintanon. That's right. Who's... I don't know if he's retired. Or... He has retired, yeah. yeah. As far as I understand it, yes. So on a run of three... Straight points, Gimka into the lead. Oof. Service over, four, four. Service over, It wasn't a particularly deep lift from Gemka. It really invited the winning shot. Look at that elevation. from this near side. Yeah. She you cheat. <laughs> oh, that was a miss hit. I, I think it was a deliberate shot. I've seen him try to do that before. Sliced, um, extreme sliced, reverse slice um, smash from Gemke. I thought it came off the frame a bit. Yeah. That's, and what are we waiting for? He wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> what are we waiting for? He still had his hand up, indicating he wasn't ready to receive. You almost sense it when, whilst the uh, shuttle was in the air, that it was going to go back in the direction where Gimke was trying to get away from. It's often very effective to play it is. two shots to the same place on court. 
Brilliant. Utterly brilliant. Look at his follow-up there. Total commitment going forward. And a reverse slice. Finish off the rally with the push, the kill. slow drops we've seen from either player in this first round encounter he goes back he's expecting the power play wonderful disguise on that drop shot and that's one thing we have to uh, give Gemke that he's not been afraid of um, using variations in his attack Serve. He used that round the head. Fast smash, fast release smash. A lot last week. Yeah. She, she was very effective. Shot from uh, Shiuchi. Retrieving capabilities. Just outstanding. Look at this. Again, he didn't seem to reach up high enough for it. No. So three but straight points to Xi Yu Chi. The gods to make the attempt by Gemke. I think he's been proactive in this uh, third game here. That, that's that's a good thing. Question mark is whether it would have been enough. Learned his lesson from the second game. 
where had he not used up all of his challenges, he might have won the game a little earlier. Yeah, that's wow. ex exactly my thoughts. Definitely worth a challenge. So who's going to have the advantage at the change of ends? This next rally will answer that question. Real sign, I think, of fatigue in the legs of Orasmus Gemkap. He couldn't push off and change direction there. Yeah, he's left stranded. So it is Shi Yu Chi who has the one point advantage here in the third and deciding game. That the eating, ah, you have to be the Jusu, Wang Chen, the Zen Go, Wang Chen, the Tui Tio. 和回放的结合现在要加快多11 10 deciding game. Missed it. That seemed a little rush suddenly went for a winner that wasn't really on. Well, I think Xi Qi is um, playing himself more and more into the match and that's putting pressure uh, mentally on, uh, on Gimka. I think he senses this, that it becomes more difficult. There's not that many free points anymore and, and the rallies uh, go longer. So I think, basically, I think Xi Qi is, is selecting his shots really well. It's shots that are 99% secure. And if he can play them consecutively, then there's a good chance that he's winning the rally. Oh, that's right. Another thing happens when you're fatigued, your decision making goes a little off. Yeah. That's another sign to me that the day is feeling the pace of this match. Nice backhand. That's well earned. Tight net shot. That's the way to win the net game. Kind of almost alluded to it. Play the long, sort of uh, middle game. That's the flat shots into. Oh, he slipped. Yeah. Well, I think he may have opened up a graze on his little finger. He had problems with that last week. Yeah. I think you're right. Uh, 
is telling the umpire that he's got a blood injury. So the right arm raised by the umpire means that they need the tournament referee and the tournament referee will accompany the medic onto court. Sorry, I didn't hear that, John, because I was trying to listen in on Kenny Johnson. Uh, and he was he was telling Gemke, you know, when he's playing well, he's playing well, so there's no easy chances. So it's just staying in it, stay in the rally. That's um, sort of consistent with what we've been seeing. Oh, yeah, there was the slip there for the greys on the knuckle. With the little finger. Interestingly, Gemke taking the opportunity to change his shirt again. Yeah. Blood injuries must be treated immediately. And these small slips might also be due to no, got these. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. the sure? court yeah, being that rough. Yeah. Okay. Good point. So his shoes are a little bit stuck from time to time. You know, last week they were spraying on full skin onto the players. Plaster can be a little awkward on the racket hand. Needs two bits of tape. Strange that, that there's no sort of like common way to treat it so that it's consistent week in, week out. How are we do, dealing with it? Yeah. Extraordinary to me that the medic isn't wearing surgical gloves <laughs> as well. Two straight points for Gemka. And the four point deficit is halved to two. Oh, lovely net shot. Precision. Take a look at this. And then makes an error of judgment at the back of the court. I think the nerves are jangling. Oh, look at that net play. Oh, hey. Hey. That is just sensational. A neck cord followed by a neck cord. How on earth did the Rasmus Gemka get this one back? Look at that. Amazing. Utterly amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Even he can't believe it. One point in it. Oh, another net cord. That's just ridiculous. That's three rallies running, isn't it? Oh, we've had a net cord. Yeah, that's pretty much the only line that she, she has found so far. That's the net cord. Good smash. Great work by Genko, who's 
And he's a little bit inaccurate on the first one. He's immediately been made to work the uh, diagonal there, then doing it a little bit better on the second. Time. Do you go for the uh, back line and try to intercept? Or do you think Shuji will play back at you at the net again? Doing it one more time. Well, I know Sun Jun was urging his man, Shuji, to be wary of playing back to the net. Oh. Oh, that's pushed way long. Five of the last six points to the Dane. Oh, oh, challenge here from Chi Chi. Ten up, Chiu Chi. Yeah, yeah. That's a strong, strong comeback by Gemke. Nice. Another net court. Oh, it didn't go over. No. Oh, no, I didn't. Well, I think an awful lot of this is going to come down to who's got the nerve. Good smash. Brilliant. Two-point advantage and two points away from a place in the second round, Erasmus Gemka. Trick shot of the day. That's amazing. That's a wonderful shot from Shi Chi. Playing shots he hasn't used for a long, long while. A little hold and flick, 19 all. Who's going to have the match point opportunity? The answer is Xi Chi. On a run of three straight points. Match points to the number two seed. What a wonderful smash. <laughs> and he converts on his first opportunity. He sumps his chest. 
He needed to dig deep for that, did last year's beaten finalist. The former champion, Shi Uchi, survives a huge scare in the first round against Denmark's Erasmus Genka. On a run of four straight points from 17-19 down, closes out the deciding game. 21-19. This the final rally. That hold and flick from very low down was the one that set up the rally. Here it comes. This one made the difference within the point. And the final smash. And look at that. Shi Uchi survives a huge scare. Coming through 18 21, 23 21, 21 19 in the deciding game in a match lasting an hour and 21 minutes. Welcome back to the Utilita Arena here in Birmingham. Day two of competition here at the Yonix All England Championships. One more match to come today, and what a match it is. It is the current world number one, Satwik Sairaj Ranki Reddy and Chirag Shetty of India up 